Tucked away in the hills behind Noosa Heads in Queensland is a family business that's buzzing with activity. A honey producer, you know, I produce honey. I would just be classed as a family operation, not, not that big. We shift the bees from tree to tree to gather different species of honey at the different times of the year. And um, it's quite thrilling to um, be on a honey flow chase or build the bees up. And also requeening them is a, is a big challenge too, you know, to have good queens in the hives and, and have strong hives. We like to give the beehives new frames um, every, every year. They're new and they're healthy for the bees to work on. We're going down to a place called Emu Bend. It's down on uh, a big swamp and uh, lots of tea trees are growing in the big swamp. The Aboriginals call this tea tree the rain tree. So it buds up and the flowers sit there until it rains and then when it rains the flower busts open. Tea trees are really nice, strong honey and the pollen in the tea tree is a very high protein pollen for the winter time. We burn tea tree bark in the smoker and the smoker, um, if you don't smoke the bees before you um, work on them, they'll, they're uh, more aggressive and they'll come out and get stuck into you. So we just smoke the entrance and then we lift the hive up put a bit of smoke under it, and then you lift it up and you see all the bees. That's a full frame of sealed honey. And you can, you can taste that, that tea tree taste we are talking about. Mmm, very nice. My son helps me and the son-in-law helps me. And we invite friends along to come out in the truck and just actually see what we do. And then they realise it's a bit too much like hard work. <laughs> so they go back to their office. <laughs> Honey, it's got a terrific lot of health benefits, as in clearing up wounds and leg ulcers in old people or with sugar diabetes. It helps a lot if people have got asthma. It doesn't go off. Honey was found in the Egyptian tombs. Pollination, you might be getting a bit of honey, but at the same time, you're saving these other properties you work by pollinating all their grasses and the different grass for their cattle and, and stock, whether it's sheep and, and uh, yeah, it's a lot of different things the beekeepers do, you know. We um, package it up ourselves and we sell it to the uh, independent stores so that local people can get local honey. Some years we vary from 100 to 250 44 gallon drums of honey. We still enjoy the challenge of shifting the bees around the countryside and gathering the different species of honey and, and selling it to the local shops and helping the uh, farmer survive in the paddock. Whether the children take over or not, you, you never know. They might have a 40 year old cri uh, crisis, they might take up farming again. <laughs>